All right, the weapon to cure cancer could be inside our own bodies. Sharon Crowley shows us how immunotherapy is a game changer in this month's big idea. I'm talking about curability. I think for the first time in medical oncology, we can begin to talk about curing cancers that were just several years ago considered incurable. Cancer specialists have discovered a new way to activate the body's immune system. We've gone from incurable to curable cancer. Immunotherapy may finally be the weapon needed to conquer one of medicine's fiercest foes. When I heard the word cancer, I was, uh, I was emotionally shaken. He's 52 now, but when Sadukar Ayer was 43, he felt a pain in his left knee running on the treadmill. Doctors diagnosed him with sarcoma, a rare and deadly soft tissue cancer. He endured debilitating rounds of standard cancer treatment known as chemotherapy. It put his cancer in remission but left him weak. Then the cancer returned. This time, it spread to his lungs. That spot there, Okay. that's cancer. I was very much depressed. I didn't know where to go. Ayer qualified to take part in a clinical trial run by Dr. Gary Schwartz. Dr. Schwartz is chief of hematology and oncology at New York Presbyterian Columbia University Medical Center. He used a promising new treatment known as immunotherapy. Administered by an IV, the patient takes a drug that activates normally dormant T cells. A T cell is a type of white blood cell essential to the immune system. It's just unheralded. It's unparalleled in the history of medicine, in the history of mankind, because remember, we're taking that T cell, it's supposed to be silent, sitting there, not doing anything. And we've changed the pattern of human biology by activating the T cell for the first time in the annals of. A, a man. In just a few months, immunotherapy seemed to be working for a year. Remember the tumor on his lung? It's completely gone. Before, what caused that after, to be gone? This is the immunotherapy. Now we're seeing response rates that are extraordinary. We're seeing survivals that are unparalleled. According to the American Cancer Society, in 2016, more than one and a half million people in the United States will be diagnosed with some form of cancer and nearly 600,000 people will die of it. Now we have success in, in lung cancer, in types of head and neck cancer, stomach cancer, lymphoma is extraordinary, 90% response rates, types of breast cancer, colon cancer. There's not a tumor type that these therapies will not work in to some degree. During immunotherapy, doctors administer drugs 